Hello everybody, this is Simon with Let's Play Sonic 2006 and for this video I got Combat Lobster with me. Hi. I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> well, the first part of this is rather automatic because um, this is just how Flame Core goes at the start. Um, I'm showing off, as you could see on the bottom, my first attempt, just so that the viewers are not confused. I usually like to show the S rank first, but in this case, the video just flowed better with the way I edited it. Um, <laughs> this usually doesn't happen that you stop here, well, you know, whatever. Um, and the way this also works is that this is the only time you're going to see these loops, because there is a very easy way to skip them. All right. This one here completely surprised me when I saw this. I reacted really quickly, but this bird and this rainbow ring is just not there in normal mode. It's just like the game is just like, yeah, you could skip this part. Just, just go for it. Like, oh, okay, I guess I'll do that. <laughs> like, I don't know why. It's a very, very easy shortcut. The game just hands to you. And then for the hard mode, it spawns these two extra worms. Wow, they, they don't really do much. Look, we know you don't want to deal with our game. We don't want to deal with our own game. So just let's get it over with. Yeah. Yeah. The part that this skipped is actually also a real motherfucker. It's, it's really, really bad. So, yeah, kind of appreciate that. This one here is like, where's the platform? That, that didn't really help that you spawned birds in here, by the way. And this bird spawned up here. Wow. Um, so, yeah, I really don't like this first part of Flame Core. It, also, this here is like, there is one more enemy here in, in hard mode. And it's just like, uh, but, 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 but something I had to discover here. Um, I didn't take advantage of it, but behind me, some other birds spawned. I try again and... Uh, nope. Ah, mm -mm, no, this just doesn't work. The wall run is garbage in this game. So let's get back to the S-rank run. We saw enough. Uh, I, I do a lot to skip a lot of stuff here just because it's a lot more efficient. As uh, I said, yeah. you can just jump around here. I've shown this off in the normal version, um, but uh, yeah, just go around here, whatever. It, <laughs> Thanks, random falling rocks. But, 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 they allow you to get out of here. So that's nice, actually. They actually have failsafe down there. Alright, very considerate. It is, it is. Wouldn't expect them to do that. I don't spawn the worms by just not killing the second enemy. I try to ignore the birds and then I use the uh, hover in the air trick to get around falling into the lava this time. I remember that you can do that. And now I do remember, this is actually a trap here, so you can just slowly walk, but also I use this as a shortcut to spawn these birds, which I noticed in the previous recording, and you can just skip up here and once again don't have to do the wall run. So that's very good, actually. I like that. I wonder if that was intended, because maybe they've realized that the wall run was too garbage, so like here's, here's the yeah, correct I mean, way of doing it. There are some of these minor shortcuts uh, programmed into the levels, sometimes to give you extra points, sometimes to give, save you time with giving extra points. Um, but it is also quite possible they were like, yeah, okay, you know, if you are actually doing this legit, you're fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah. Do not. Part for the course with kill rooms like this one in hard mode, it's just, yeah, there's a few more enemies. Maybe another wave. Well, it's not really harder. <laughs> especially with the KS uh, boost activated. This one is harder with the KS boost, of course, if you remember. Only tap the button for the homing attack, otherwise you will immediately fall down and die. Mm. This part here is a little bit wonky as well. Oh. Hmm? I, I imagine the combat sections are basically just strictly there to test your patience. It's harder because it's more, strictly. Yeah, basically, yeah. And you also you get a lot more points from all the extra enemies, so S ranks are usually ha easier to do in, in hard mode. Um, because oh. you can just buffer a lot of uh, what you would otherwise need ring bonuses for by just killing a bunch of my enemies. Anyway, that platforming segment, we're going to revisit that in the outtakes, because that can be quite unpretty, that previous room. <laughs> Uh, looked real smooth here now, but I, I showed the ideal route. Basically, flame core is a nightmare if you don't know what you're doing, and if you know all of the little shortcuts and tricks, then it's just boring. Ah, oh, okay. And, you know, I try to look the, make the game look as good as possible. <laughs> Can't do that much for flame core. Don't like the level. It's just ugh. very long, very one note. 
Lots yeah. of kill rooms, repeated kill rooms, like we've seen this before. It's the exact same plateau. <laughs> and it's a real weakness of the game in general that the exact composition of the enemies doesn't actually matter. Like, can you tell me, oh, there were like five worms in comparison to three? The Purple lizards, are they more difficult than the normal colored ones? The red colored ones? Can you tell me? <laughs> I guess not. Exactly. I don't really <laughs> it's very much not obvious. Yeah. Yeah. You erase them real quick with the chaos. I, I assume there's no gimmick to any of these enemies. They're, they're strictly just, just slam into them and beat them up. Oh, there are actually gimmicks. Uh, you just don't uh, let them do it if you're Shadow, <laughs> because you can't just oh. erase them this quickly. Um, the purple lizards shoot lasers from their mouth, like you could just saw the one do, um, mm -hmm. and the uh, red lizards shoot fire. Um, the fire has longer, lower range, um, and uh, they also have two health, the purple ones, instead of just the one. So there are definite differences, but if you're just going through a kill room in the most efficient way possible, you will never see them. Okay. Like there, there is a thought here behind the combat system. There is a lot of thought behind the enemy design, but in practice, what? Whoops! <laughs> the homing attack just completely screwed me over by not hitting the actual enemy. Uh, so I just book it here because otherwise I will die. I have no rings. Oh, okay. Uh, but yeah, usually in practice you just do not see that. Like, there's a lot of things the enemies can do, but the best tactic is to just not let them do that. And it's quite trivial to just go for it and homing attack, homing attack, homing attack, go from one to another, stun them. You are invincible while you're doing the homing attack, that's why the fire of the enemy just didn't affect me there. Um, and yeah, this is why it doesn't really matter what they do. Okay. It's a, it's a classic case of uh, if you are worse at the game, then it is much harder, and the better you are at the game, the, the less interesting it becomes in that sense. It loses depth as you get better at it, and that's uh, like the wrong way around. <laughs> yeah. Remember this, where I had to kill all of these enemies uh, so that uh, silver metal would spawn? Uh, that was terrible. I'm doing this here now just to show off, like because I have actually gotten a lot better at Shadow. Uh, it doesn't do anything though. Like, actually, that ring box I just flew past, that is the one that did show up for killing the enemy. So it did, it did a little bit, but there are no medals in hard mode, so fortunately um, it didn't matter that I fell down there and didn't touch it, which would be really frustrating otherwise. Mm. Or something I never showed off in the normal mode, you can act use the Chaos Spear productively for once, wow, to make uh, these things light up. You still don't see anything, but hey, you know, it's the thought that counts. We tried. Yeah. I have gotten better at proactively using the Chaos Spear. It is sometimes nice, homing attack, please the enemy, um, to, to shut down enemies that could be problematic by stunning them. Uh, though for some enemies it just doesn't help at all, of course. Once again, the purple enemies have two hit points. Normal birds only have one. Homing attack once again, screwing you over. That's ah, beautiful. Uh, the switch position has been changed for hard mode. You have to do this somewhat tight jump now. Whatever. Always try to uh, light speed dash along these rings, but no, they didn't program it. Too bad. Would have been fun. Um, I don't think that the rail up there is reachable for Shadow. Uh, Sonic can. Uh, tried it a few times with him. Um, very janky. But there is this hidden spring here, and this part here is actually not normally reachable for Sonic, or at least you have to spend some effort for it. So now I finally know what it's for. Wow! not great, but <laughs> hey, it's there. Just leave to me. So we have to do the same light puzzle once again. We've seen this normal mode. We did it for Knuckles, now we do it with Rouge again. Uh, there's lots of enemies here, lots of uh, possible combat. Uh, there's also an invincibility here. I don't know why, because um, I mean, you can use it to take up this group to the right, but you don't have to. There's nothing here for you except for a few points. Uh, just to demonstrate, like, wow, I, I use it to be invincible, get this 10 rings, cool, all fine, but just 
all the time you waste means that eventually the lights will go out again and you have to redo this room, so I just book it. Oh, okay. <laughs> and uh, you don't need the points from these. What you can do is destroy the big worms, kill a lot of the flies around, farm points like that. However, uh, Rouge dropping down from uh, one of the bomb attacks means that you lose control for a bit and that screwed me over there. And also this bird just spawning in, very rude. <laughs> <laughs> Guess that's hard mode for you. <laughs> okay. Well, could Shadow reach the invincibility? Maybe that was meant for him. No, you cannot do this room with uh, Shadow. You just can't oh. uh, go up there. Okay. So the previous one, you you have to do it as Shadow, uh, as Rouge. You can go around her, can do a little bit of the room, but eventually uh, you have to use her just to, to hover and stuff. Oh, okay, I'm realizing that we're, we're headed in a different direction completely. I thought we mm -hmm. had to... I thought we would have to, like, retrek through the same area as Shadow. Oh, uh, no, no, this is just uh, copy-paste again. Uh, this is part of why this level is so boring and stupid, is because uh, you literally do the same rooms twice without them being objectively the same rooms. Uh, I see where your confusion is coming from. No, this is now the end of the level, just like that. This just padded it. Mm. I'm glad that I didn't need the ring bonus, actually, for the S rank. 50,000 points threshold, in case you were wondering, like for every main level. Nice. But the video isn't over. As usual, there is some outtakes, because it was a little bit tough getting these recordings done. With Silver, I was much, much more successful. But uh, for Shadow, for most of the levels, not quite first try. Can't be that proud of myself. So yeah, I'm doing a little bit of a mixture of uh, showing off stuff which has skipped in the S-Rank, uh, for good reason, as I said. Um, like, for example, this part here, where they added the convenient rainbow ring. I wanted to do it once just to show off what it is, and it's a fucking nightmare. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Like, going through this wall running segment is just completely impossible, forget about it. Like, I'm good at the game, I keep telling people that, uh, but I'm not that good at the game. Uh, you can skip to the end here from above if you want to, again, just to show it off. Nice. And it deposits you at the same point. Whatever. And, and this one gets a free shot at you, so it's also fun. Oops. <laughs> it always happens here. It's like these, these platforms are so badly timed. It's just not very fun to do this platforming here. It's just the plain platforming. It's just ass in this game. Anyway, I was yeah. talking about this room being a little bit... Eh? Like there is a box up there. I don't quite know how to reach it. There's certainly some ways to do it. Um, but uh, yeah, once again, pure platforming. Just really bad. Don't do it. Try to avoid it. This worm here, I see it come out. So... Um, fortunately, I reacted to this trap uh, quickly enough. Um, do I kill this? Do I kill this? Ah! I actually realize now why this platform is for in this recording. You actually spawn the extra life and I really should have gotten the rings. Like a preview of what happens. You see me do this in the normal mode, uh, in, in the previous video as well. Just stun this guy. Real cool. Stun this guy, stun this guy. Nothing happens when touching the lava on the side. That's cool. But, oops! Off-screen bird's dead. That no. happens a lot. <laughs> Ah! It was almost cool. <laughs> almost. For, for this room, I go to the side immediately in the S rank, but I wanted to show off this extra thing here, uh, which I'm not entirely sure if this is in full in the normal version of the level. Oh, Jesus! Including this glitch. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that happens sometimes. Um, because I skip it all the time in normal as well, because this part of this room is completely and entirely pointless. I'm sure that this extra uh, wave of enemies is new. Oh yeah, uh, killing the giant enemy despawns the dog, so the homing attack has nothing to latch on to, so I get punted in the lava, very nice. Once again, I can skip to the end if I go up to the left here, but again I want to show off this part of the level. A grind rail, which is pointless, unless, of course, in normal mode, you get the um, metal that's on here. There is none in hard, so again, pointless. And this is how he reaches invincibility, just like going through with the normal flow of the level, basically. Right. And uh, something a little bit embarrassing here at the end. 
I tried to be cool here, snipe this. I was cool and uh, just didn't quite make it. So now I'm like beelining for this ring box up here. Oh, but gonna... of course I jump up like that and no. get sniped by a bird. That Ooh. was very what? frustrating. Well then what hit you? Uh, one of those birds, they, they have oh, okay, very, okay. very uh, tightly homing projectiles. Uh, there's tons of them. You could see me erase the entire flock by killing the worm in the S-Rank uh, video. But mm -hmm. uh, I didn't do that here and uh, that cost me. <laughs> cost me dearly. Oh. Wow. Tough. Anyway, thanks a lot for your attention. <laughs>